All right, folks, we're going to try something a little different today. This is a piece of basswood. I have a basswood tree in my yard and a little sprout grows up around the trunk of it. And so every couple of uh, times of the year, I'll go out there and cut little fellas off of there and I'll let them dry for uh, quite a while. And so let's, we're going to try a little wood spirit here. And um, I, trust, I tested this piece of wood a while ago and my goodness, this thing is cutting good. But my challenge is, since this thing is so small, I'm going to probably get out of focus here. So I hope you'll be patient with me. And again, we're, one of you, I remember you left a comment about, can you carve a face from a round stick? And so that's what we're going to do right now. So again, I want to show you that we've got to keep everything in center, even though it's a round stick. And right there is your center. And again, we're going to come in here with our two plain cuts for the eyes. Okay, just like that there. And that creates the eye plane, you can see there. And then we're going to come in and do our rocking cut and cut underneath. Oh, looky there, I like that. And All right, then we're going to come in with a small U gouge. And, um, and then we're going to do our finger placement right there. Sorry, I got out of focus there and out of, out of view of the camera. And so we're going to push straight in, remove our two pieces of wood right there. This is going to create the eye planes. I'm going to turn my wood. I'm going to come down here a little ways and that way we can put our hair in after a while. Now I'm going to come and try to hold this guy and put in our small lines. Now this is just seasoned basswood. It's just been cut off the tree about a month ago. And um, trying to create those three planes for the mouth, okay? All right, let's reduce that forehead. Man, he's got a forehead that's out of this world. All right. Let's extend our cuts up into the crook of the nose. All right, let's look at him. All right, not too bad. Remember, the wood gave away there. And Then we're going to take our ooh, big old soft V here and, and hopefully split that forehead a little bit there. That way it doesn't have a unibrow. All right, so now we're going to come down here. And let's put in a cut there. Cut there. I may go out there and just cut that whole tree down. I don't like the way this cuts. But anyway, we'll wait a few more years. Creating that little mustache there, the sides of it. All right. Let's go in here fairly deep in the mouth. All right, 
Boy, he has got some big eyebrow area, doesn't he? That's all right. Okay, so now we're going to come in here with our little V tool, create just the, the mouth area. And you know what you could do? You could drill a hole in the top there and put you an eyelet and put you a little key ring, make it a little key holder for a friend. But we're just cleaning that out. And let's come here along the side here and let's sink in the temples a little bit. All right. So here comes a good challenge on something this small is the eyes. And we're going to try to do it. So forgive me if this don't turn out, folks, but we're going to give it a, a try. All right, get down where I can see better. Okay, see how good of a steady hand I have here. Get down here. To where I can see. There's one cut, two, and I'm going to just lightly come in. I'm going to have to turn my stick. There. Okay. We're going to do our three cuts to the corner. There's one, and two, and three. <clears throat> Let's do the inside corner. Didn't want to let go, so let's try that again. There it goes. There it went. Let's come over here to this side. Do this again. All right. And let's come to this side of the face. I can see better if I come this way. I'm going to turn him up this way now. Do my angle cut. Try not to get into the side there. Okay. There, <clears throat> now we're going to put in the, the bottom eyelid. Extend. Let's do the other side. Get a good grip, Van. Let's work on this nose a little bit. So funny when I'm working on his nose, my nose starts itching. All right. Very good. Okay, so let's put in a few hairs here and there, you know. to give him some action. You know, it doesn't have to be basswood. If you, you know, find sassafras or catapa or any wood like that out there that will just, it's fun just to take a little piece like this here and what you found out in nature. Let's bring some hair down here to the bottom. Bring it up. And we'll come in here and try to make some cheeks. Just a hint.
Take our V tool here and just hit these high spots. Okay. And let's come in here and let's put in some eyebrows. And we're just about done here. Just had a fun little thing to do here. And sometimes it's just good to do something simple. Then if you want to, you know, come in with your pencil and um, make his eyes look one way or the other. And All right, well, there's your little tree spirit and um, in a piece of basswood, just a simple little face in a stick of found basswood out here in the yard. And so anyway, just go out here in, the, in your yard in the woods and find something to try it. You never know, you might find the next wonderful little piece for a neat little project like this. So, all right, well, we'll see you all soon. Happy carving.